Good morning. Today is Thursday the 7th of July and it's a feria in the 14th week of Church's Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is from Hosea, Prophet Hosea, chapter 11. Thus says the Lord, When Israel was a child, I loved him, and I called my son out of Egypt. But the more I called to them, the further they went from me. They have offered sacrifice to the Baals, and set their offerings smoking before the idols. I myself taught Ephraim to walk. I took them in my arms, yet they have not understood that I was the one looking after them. I led them with reins of kindness, with leading strings of love. I was like someone who lifts an infant close against his cheek. Stooping down to him, I gave him his food. Ephraim, how could I part with you? Israel, how could I give you up? How could I treat you like Adma? or deal with you like Zeboim. My heart recoils from it. My whole being trembles at the thought. I will not give rain to my fierce anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again. For I am God, not man. I am the Holy One in your midst, and I have no wish to destroy. The Word of the Lord. In the Gospel is the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10. Jesus instructed the Twelve as follows. As you go, proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils. You received without charge, give without charge. Provide yourselves with no gold or silver, not even a few coppers for your purses, with no haversack for the journey, or spare tunic or footwear or a staff, for the workman deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you go into, ask for someone trustworthy and stay with him until you leave. As you enter his house, salute it, and if the house deserves it, let your peace descend upon it. If it does not, let your peace come back to you. And if anyone does not welcome you or listen to what you have to say, as you walk out of the house or town, shake the dust from your feet. I tell you solemnly, on the day of judgment, you will not go as hard with the land of Sodom and Gomorrah as with that town. The Gospel of the Lord. And to begin with the Gospel, um, it's similar to passages we've heard earlier this week, but this one, Matthew, is very stark. Take not just a few things, but take nothing. Just utterly trust in God's providence that you will be provided when you go preaching. Give, you receive everything for free, give everything for free. Heal the sick, throw out devils, comfort the, uh, the mourners. It's a very sharper message than in Mark or what, Luke, uh, where it's a bit more, shall we say, practical. Here, Jesus is saying to his disciples, you must trust the power of God to work through you. It's not you, it's God working through you. And that's why there's this very sim simple approach. Take nothing with you, because God will provide. It, it's a leap of faith. But it's part of the faith that we have, that we do take this leap. I wanted to talk about the Gospel first, because it's the passage from Isaiah that I want to spend a bit more time on. If there was one Old Testament passage that you almost staple and staple a bookmark onto, in your Bible. It's this passage from Hosea. Here God is both father and mother. We know all through Hosea, in most places, uh, God is presented as a husband trying to keep his uh, errant wife from straying and trying to get her back from being unfaithful to faithful. But here we have God as parent. And the most beautiful language about looking after Israel, bringing Israel to freedom, helping Israel to grow up. Ephraim, by the other way, is another name for Israel. 
<clears throat> and God's saying, whatever Israel does, I can't see how I could ever totally reject Israel. Yes, I might uh, temporarily let it be, go into exile, but no, I could never give it up altogether. So this passage, as I say, is a passage to reflect on constantly. And it brings out so well the message both uh, of the covenant in the Old Testament, but above all, it brings out so well the covenant in the New Testament, Jesus, trying to constantly tell us God's love is for real. God really cares for you. As I say, one of the things that we find so difficult to believe is that, is that God personally, individually cares for me. He wants me to come closer to him. It's part of the community, but it's individual as well. God loves me. And here, this passage of God holding up the infant Israel to his cheek and playing with Israel on his lap. These are beautiful symbols of just how close God's love is to us. We turn to our bidding prayers. The response is, Lord, hear us. Blessed be God our Father, he hears the prayers of his children. Lord, hear us. We thank you, Father, for sending us your Son. Let us keep him before our eyes throughout this day. Lord, hear us. Make wisdom our guide. Help us walk in newness of life. Lord, hear us. Lord, give us your strength in our weakness. When we meet problems, give us courage to face them. Lord, hear us. Direct our thoughts, our words, our actions today, so that we may know and do your will. Lord, hear us. We pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We pray, Lord God, true light and creator of light, grant that faithfully pondering on all that is holy, we may ever live in the splendour of your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God come down on us and be with us for always. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. Have a good day. God bless. Have a good day.